and a very warm welcome to the channel and to my subscribers, nice to have you back. Right now, we're in difficult times due to COVID-19. My travel plans for this year have been cancelled. Here in the UK, museums and attractions are just starting to open up again, but with restrictions. So it's unlikely I'll be filming any visits or views in the near future. However, rest assured, when I get anything new, there'll be a review. I got these barbecue mats from Amazon. They took ages to arrive, but was well worth waiting for. Each mat measures approximately 40 by 33 centimetres and can easily be cut down to the required size if too large. Manufacturers say they are made from premium heat resistant PTFE fiberglass coating and contain no PFOA, silicon or other harmful chemicals, which I don't understand. Just 0.2 mm thick, withstands temperatures of up to 260 degrees C. Heat is conducted evenly, giving perfect grill marks. Non-stick, reusable and dishwasher safe. Grill without oil or fat. Leaves the grill easy to clean, no more burnt on debris. Well, I don't have too many problems with food sticking on my grill. So why did I buy them? Well, to make my fig and blue cheese bruschetta, I had to grill sugared fig slices. And from experience in the kitchen, I knew these would stick. Here's a clip from that video. Just look at those fig slices sizzling away. And they turn over without any problem whatsoever. I have to say, these bruschetta are absolutely delicious. So check it out on my other channel, The Barbecue Walk of Flame. In the short time that I've had these mats, I've grilled sugared fig slices, potatoes, fish fillets and scotch eggs painted in barbecue sauce. Just look at that mat. And here is the very same mat that has just come out of the dishwasher. These mats have many uses, both in the kitchen and on the barbecue. They can easily be cut to fit various shapes and sizes. Here I'm cutting one to fit my veg basket. Sometimes oiled potatoes and other veg do stick when they go into a hot basket. As you can see here, they move around easily and are cooking very evenly. Now for the ultimate test. I'm doing a fry up of sausage, bacon and eggs. Now I would normally cook sausage and bacon directly on the grill. However, I wanted the fat rendered from the bacon and the sausage to fry the eggs. Who said anything about this being healthy? And there's the sausage, cooked nicely, grill marks and all. The bacon needs a few minutes more. I'll just give it a turn and get the other side done. I really wished I could do it as fast as this. Time to get the bacon off the grill. It's cooked, but not as crispy as I would expect. So with the bacon and sausage out of the way, here we go with the eggs. Well, clearly this grill isn't hot enough, even though both burners are full on. And I can see my grill isn't quite level. I have to take action here or I'm going to get egg running all over the grill. They are taking quite a long time to solidify. The temperature difference between the bars is very noticeable.
I have to say I'm disappointed with these eggs. I really did think that with this heat they would cook in just a few minutes with the lid open. Close the lid and they did solidify. They came off the matter easily. And there you have a couple of fried eggs. A little overdone if you like your eggs runny. So to sum up, these mats do have a place in the kitchen and at the barbecue. They do exactly as claimed and are particularly effective with foods known to stick. They also work well with delicate foods, such as fish. One small point, I did find that some of the heat was deflected and was unable to achieve really high temperatures on the grill. So if you found this review useful, please subscribe to my channel. Simply click the button below. And if you're into barbecue cooking, then head over to my other channel, The Barbecue Walk of Flame, where you'll find some cracking recipes all cooked on my WebEQ. Well, that's all for now. So until the next time, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.